Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel e-commerce project tutorial. In this tutorial, we will uh, show products data uh, in this admin dashboard and admin will be able to update and delete all those product data. Okay, so first of all, let me just fix uh, one thing is that uh, we are actually adding product over here. So we should call this uh, add product, add new product. Okay, so first of all, let's change this. Uh, let's go to our admin then we'll go to directly sidebar and over here you can see we write the products and we'll just say over here add new products so if you save it and refresh it it looks like this okay so now uh, we will add another uh, option like this uh, and over here we are going to say show all products show all products so let's save it and if you refresh now we can see another option uh, show all products over here so if you click it uh, it will uh, take us to a page where we can see all the products so over here first of all let's give the url over here so uh, we will say show product over here so let's save it now we'll go to web.php and create this url let me just uh, copy this control C and we will paste it over here then we will say over here show product then let's say the uh, function name will be show product as well now we will go to admin controller and create this show product let's go to admin controller and uh, let me just uh, copy this on control C and paste it over here and uh, we will say over here show product and it will return a view uh, return view admin dot show product let's say now we don't have this uh, show product blade dot php in the admin folder so let's create it uh, uh, create this show product blade uh, let's click uh, right click on the admin folder then click new file then we will say show product dot blade dot php now we save it control s save over here uh, we will uh, going to copy a code from the home.blade.php like we did in the previous tutorial for product control a control c then uh, let's go to show product and control v we are going to remove this admin.body so let's remove it and if we save it now and let's refresh now over here let's click show all product so you can see uh, this is another page uh, and here is nothing so over here uh, let's go to first our product.blade.php and now in this product.blade.php we added a div class over here and we also uh, add a div class container align center over here let me just copy those two control c and we'll paste this uh, over here after this admin.never control v and we also need to in this to div so let's give div then this div for this okay so now we are going to create a table over here so that we can uh, show all the data from the product table so for it we just need to see our here table and let's say inside this table we will say uh, tr and it will have some table data means td td means table data and tr means table row and uh, we it uh, the product will have a title then price then description and also the image and also the quantity so total five then uh, say over here title t i t l e title then then description uh, let's say quantity after this price and last one will be image so let's save it control s and okay let's uh, save it and let's me just show you how it looks so this is how it looks now let us just uh, change their looks a little bit uh, over here uh, let's add some padding if you just press ctrl and click everywhere in sublime text you can change atoms everything so over here uh, let's say style then we'll say padding uh, padding let's say padding will be 20 px so let's save it ctrl s then let's refresh so it looks like this right now i think that's good enough 
now if we add the uh, let's say add the data for those let's remove all those style from here and uh, let's save it and uh, over here uh, okay we are going to say over here again style uh, we'll have a background color background color let's say background color will be black and uh, let's say over here align center center so let's save it and let's refresh okay our product data uh, will look like this uh, i think we should also add a different color for this so let's add it another style over here let's say inside the style over here we'll say background color it will be gray now let's save it and if we refresh you can see it looks like this i think this is this one is better than previous so now uh, we need to show uh, all the table data over here so for this we need to go to admin controller uh, and here you can see we are returning the show product view from here so what we are going to do is that uh, we are going to first uh, declare a variable over here dollar data is equal to then we have to say the table name which was product then we are going to say over here all and then over here in the return view uh, after admin dot show product we will give a comma then we will say over here compact then data so what will happen is that a dollar data will have all the all the all the data from this product table and it will send all the data uh, to this show dot uh, show product view and we also need to add the show product model over here as well which we already did in the previous tutorial so let's go to our uh, show product dot blade dot php and over here we are going to say a for each loop at the rate of for each we are going to say dollar data as dollar product and then uh, let me just remove all those uh, things from the td and over here we are going to say to second bracket and then we will say this on dollar product dollar product this arrow sign then we need to say our head title if you go to our database you can see uh, all the names for the uh, for product table you can see title price registration quantity and image so after title we will have uh, over here we write description so let's say over here description description then we will say quantity price and image uh, let's say over here quantity PID quantity price then a uh, last one will be image okay we'll add the image a little a little later so let's save it and uh, okay we also need to in this for each loop we'll in this for each loop after this tr at the rate of int for each so now let's save it again and uh, let's refresh over here so here you can see uh, all the all the data from the database over here and we also require to add image over here so for it again uh, now in order to show image uh, in the td we need to mention over here image tag now inside this image tag uh, now inside this image tag we need to uh, we need to give the image source now we save the image inside our public uh, product image folder here you can see so we are going to say our here slash product image then again slash then we'll we need, we'll say product then we'll say our here the name uh, from, from database which is image now let's also uh, give the height and width for the image let's say height will be 200 and uh, width will be 200 as well so let's save it control s and if we refresh now you can see that uh, all the images for the specific uh, data i think the height and width is, width is still too big we need to make it smaller so let's make height uh, equal 100 and width equal 100 okay let's say over here 100 px so now let's save it and uh, refresh okay now this is better i guess 
now i think that text should be in the center or uh, the align items didn't work let me just remove this and outside this style let's show what here align let's say now center uh, let's see if it works Control s and refresh okay now this works and uh, on the mode, one more thing is that there is no gap uh, at the end after this image uh, so let's create a gap over here so let's go to our code and we will uh, add a style over here at the first div so let's over here style and we will say over here padding let's say padding then bottom bottom uh, we are double to padding bottom let's say it will be 30 px and if we save it now and uh, if we refresh and if you go down you can see that uh, there is a little bit gap over here you can increase this gap by increasing the padding uh, bottom value uh, okay so now we will add a action option over here and uh, those uh, we using this those action option the admin will be able to update and uh, delete those specific product okay so let's go to our code again and uh, we'll go down and uh, uh, over here uh, after this image we'll add another td uh, which will be for action uh, let's say over here action one and uh, over here we can say okay instead of action uh, let's say over here update and delete we will say over here update and over here delete so if we save it uh, and if we refresh now we will see two more option over here you can see update and delete so we are going to add two more field over here after this image td so let's add another td over here and uh, inside this td uh, we will give a anchor tag and in over here we will say um, let's say it will be update right so update and let me just uh, mention a bootstrap class over here we will say class is equal to btn btn uh, let's say over here primary and if we save it now and if we refresh we will see a button over here uh, which is update now let's add a delete button so let me just copy this one control c and control v and over here instead of update we will just say over here delete and uh, it will be btn btn uh, danger danger so it will be black uh, red color so if you refresh now you can see a red button over here so it looks really nice right now so first of all we will do the uh, delete part because it's the most easiest one so let's go to our uh, code again and uh, over here you can see a href inside this href we are going to say url uh, url then inside it uh, we need to first mention a name let's say delete product then uh, after this uh, after this first quotation we'll give a comma then we'll say our head dollar product then this arrow sign will say id so uh, what will happen is that it will uh, if someone click that uh, this delete button it will get the specific id of the specific product let me just say it again from here if if someone click this let's say click this delete, delete button then it will get the id of this specific product so we create this uh, url so we need to create uh, create it in the web.php now we'll go to web.php and create that uh, url so let me just copy this ctrl c and paste it over here and instead of uh, show product we'll say delete product uh, and uh, the product uh, function name will be let's say delete as well and we also need to mention the id over here so we we'll, we need to give a slash then a second bracket and inside it we'll say id so what will happen is that it to, if someone click this delete button then it will send this id to this web.php and it will receive the id like this now we will uh, go to admin controller and create this uh, delete product function so let's go to admin controller and over here we will say public public function delete product and we need to 
cached ID over here. So we will see over here dollar ID. So now we will be able to cache the ID that we send from the web.php. Now we will give two second bracket and inside it uh, we are going to say over here first of all we need to declare a variable just like before. Uh, we will say again dollar data you can declare any variable you want. Then we will say product uh, which is our table name. Then we will give to double clone then we will say find dollar id then we will say dollar data then this arrow sign we will say delete then we will just say return direct this arrow sign back so now let's save it control s and uh, let's refresh over here okay it seems that i missed a fast bracket over here uh, in the show product so let's go to show product and uh, over here you can see that the first bracket started over here and i didn't indeed it so i have to indeed over here so now let's save it Control s now let's refresh so okay there is no error so now let's try to delete a image let's uh, delete this one if you click delete it should delete the data so over here you can see that there is no uh, that uh, images over here so we should also uh, like show a, a message option over here uh, like we did in the previous tutorial that uh, product deleted successfully so let's go back to our code again then we will go to admin controller and let me just copy this uh, with message product added successfully and over here we will just say product delete successfully so product deleted so let's save it control s and now uh, we need to go to show product but before that uh, now we need to go to show product and add the session for this message and we'll uh, add the message uh, let's say uh, over here uh, okay so let me just go to the product.blade.php and copy that code and you can see that over here uh, we actually we actually added the message over here so i am just going to copy it and not going to type it and make you bore uh, you already have this code you can just copy and paste it over here so we'll go to show product and we'll just paste it over here control v Control S. Now let's refresh and try to delete another product. Now let's say this time we will delete this product. So let's click delete. And it uh, uh, said over here product deleted. And we can also close it over here. So this is it for this tutorial. And uh, uh, I will do the update part in the next tutorial. So thank you very much for watching and uh, please subscribe this channel if you want to get notification for the next tutorial. And if you have faced any problem let me know in the comment section because I will surely reply back and thanks again for watching.